بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو دس کورس آف نیوکلیئر کیمسٹری کیم فور ون سکس آئی ایم ڈاکٹر شوکت شجا ایسوسیٹ پروفیسر ڈپارٹمنٹ آف کیمسٹری کوہاڑ یونیورسٹی آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا اسٹیبلٹی آف نیوکلیائڈس The primary objective of this lecture is to identify the various parameters which play a significant role in deciding the stability of a nucleide. And hopefully at the end of this lecture you will be able to predict the stable or unstable nature of any given nucleide based upon the knowledge of these parameters. Now let's move to the outline of this lecture. First we will try to understand the term nucleide and then we will discuss their classification based upon the stability into stable nucleides and unstable nucleides. Then we will discuss the various parameters which are responsible for the stability of nucleides mainly including the even and odd nature of number of neutrons and protons and the neutron to proton ratio. There are other factors like uh, binding energy, packing fraction, and nuclear forces but these parameters will be discussed in next lectures and at the end I will summarize the whole discussion so first let's see what is meant by nucleide Now in nuclear chemistry this term nucleide is frequently used. Nucleide is any nuclear species which mainly has specific number of protons and neutrons. These protons and neutrons they are collectively called the nucleons. So nucleide is basically composed of nucleons. From the knowledge of elementary particles, we know that these nucleons they are composed of quarks. Proton contain two up quarks and one down quark. whereas neutron contain two down quarks and one up quark. So it can be said that a nucleide is mainly composed of quarks. All the isotopes of an element form a set of nucleides for example hydrogen has three isotopes protium deuterium and tritium the nucleide of protium contain one proton the nucleide of deuterium contain one proton and one neutron whereas the nucleide of tritium contain one proton and two neutrons these nucleides they are represented by nucleide notation nucleide notation is a shorthand method of showing a nucleide 
a standard nuclear notation or a standard nucleoid notation show the chemical symbol of the element the mass number and the proton number now for example if we want to illustrate the nucleoid notation for an isotope of uranium which contain 92 protons and 146 neutrons then we will write the symbol of element uranium U and then we'll place the proton number 92 and mass number 238 as subscript and superscript on the left hand side of the symbol sometimes the nucleides are also denoted by the symbol of the element accompanied by the mass number modern periodic table contain 118 elements starting from hydrogen up to organison organison is an element which was discovered in 2000 and two but it was recognized as an element in 2015 it is a noble gas and has been named after a Russian physicist Yuri Oganison for his outstanding role in the discovery of new elements Now for these 118 elements more than 3000 nucleides have been reported including both naturally occurring and man-made or synthetic now for example the first 10 elements in the periodic table starting from hydrogen to neon possess 126 nucleides for only hydrogen seven nucleides have been reported and the methods of their synthesis has been published in atomic data and nuclear data tables a journal of elsewhere in 2012 now till 2015 3,211 nucleides were reported and all these discoveries along with the method of their preparation have been compiled in this book named the discovery of isotopes a complete compilation published by Springer so if you are interested to see that how these 
isotopes have been synthesized then you must consult this book it will give you an insight into the synthesis of these nuclides. In 2019, six new nucleides were reported, including oxygen 11, neptunium 220, bromine 68, mercury 165, platinum 170, and potassium 31. These discoveries have been published in physical review letters, physics letters B, and physical review C. Now coming to the classification of these nuclides based on their stability. First, let's see what is a stable nucleide. Uh, a stable nucleide is a nucleide which is eternally stable and it doesn't undergo any type of change. It is not radioactive, it doesn't emit any type of radiation and doesn't undergo any type of transmutation. Now it has been proposed that if a nucleide remains unchanged for a period of around 10 raised to the power 21 years, then we can place it in the stable category. Now in the periodic table, only the first 82 elements from hydrogen to lead possess stable isotopes except two elements technetium and promethium which doesn't possess any stable nucleide up till now 3,308 nucleides have been reported and out of these 3,308 nucleides only 274 nucleides are stable. Now this is a list of 26 elements which possess only one stable nucleides. So these elements like beryllium, fluorine, sodium, phosphorus, aluminium, cobalt, gold etc. These elements are called the monoisotopic elements. Now other elements possess varying number of stable nucleides. For example, xenon possess nine stable nucleides. The highest number of stable nucleides are reported for tin. Tin has ten stable nucleides. An unstable nucleide is the one which undergo a change in the nucleon number by emitting radiations like alpha, beta and gamma. These nucleides are radioactive and they undergo transmutation to form new nucleides. Now elements beyond lead 
which has an atomic number 82 they doesn't possess any stable nucleide it is important to mention that the first 82 elements along with the stable nucleides also possess unstable nucleides for example tin along with the 10 stable nucleides has 30 radioactive or unstable nucleides and some of those unstable nucleides are shown in this table it is logical to ask that why only around 10 percent of the discovered nucleides are stable or in other words what are the various factors leading to nuclear stability in-depth investigations on the properties of a large number of nucleides show that some of the important factors which contribute towards the stability of a nucleide are even and odd nature of number of neutrons and protons neutron to proton ratio binding energy packing fraction and nuclear forces now in this lecture I will only focus on the first two parameters the even and odd nature of number of neutrons and protons and the neutron to proton ratio the rest of the factors will be discussed in next lectures now let's see what is the impact of even or nature of number of protons and neutrons on the stability of a nucleide now this table shows the number of protons and neutrons for some of the stable nucleides and we can see that the stable nucleides may have even number of protons and even number of neutrons as is the case of helium 4 or they may have even number of protons and odd number of neutrons as is the case of beryllium 9 or they may have odd number of protons and even number of neutrons as is the case of boron 11 or they may have odd number of neutrons and odd number of protons as in the case of nitrogen 14 so based upon the evenness and are the oddness of number of neutrons and protons these nucleides can be categorized into four groups the even even group the even odd group the odd even group and the odd odd group the largest number of nucleides around 60 percent are present in the even even group and least number of nucleides less than two percent are the members of odd odd group the even odd group and the odd even group contain about 20 and 18 percent of the nucleides respectively mm. 
the greater number of stable isotopes with even number of protons and neutrons can be explained in terms of energy stabilization gained by a combination of like nucleons to form pairs. From the frequency distribution of stable nuclides, it appears that proton pair with proton and neutron pair with neutron. But proton doesn't pair with neutron. If a nucleus has an even number of protons, all the protons will exist in the form of pairs. However, in case of odd number of protons, this type of pairing is not possible. The same is true for neutrons. Now it is important to note that the number of stable nucleides are approximately same for the even odd and the odd even groups. This means that the pairing of proton with proton and neutron with neutron confer approximately same degree of stability to the nucleides.